Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I'm Jonathan Plastic. I'm the media director here at the Gathering Baptist Church. I'm now joined by one of my good friends, title change for the man as well. Yep. Go ahead and tell us who you are. My name is uh, Matt Brown. I am the family pastor here at the Gathering Baptist Church. Okay, so how did that happen? You used to be youth pastor, I now was, family pastor. I was. When Pastor Francis uh, retired, then I kind of took over Nate's position, who kind of took uh, on a new position, which I'm sure he'll talk about in his mm-hmm. interview. But uh, here a year or so ago, then I uh, moved from youth ministry into family ministry. So I still do mm-hmm. youth ministry, still yeah. the youth pastor, but I, I'm family pastor now because I oversee really nursery through college. Nice. Beautiful. Um, okay, so we're going to get to know Matt. So we did this last time, uh, but that's like two years old now. So we're, we're refreshing these videos. And so let's start with Matt. Tell us about your family. I have a wife, Kaylee, and new addition to this hey. video, right? I have a daughter, Isla. She is going to be one on February 8th, 2023. Sweet. So I'll date this video a little bit. Yes, you but, will. But uh, she is 11 months old. She's a joy of my life, along with my wife, um, and it's just, <laughs> it's been fantastic. Yeah, yeah, so tell us uh, a little bit first about uh, the first year of parenthood. I'm sure that's an interesting uh, change in your life. Oh my gosh, um, so the first, they're right, when everybody says that the first few months you don't sleep, mm-hmm. uh, you survive, there's, I remember distinctly, um, she was born on February 8th, a little bit early, but not too bad, um, like a month or two in. A month in, middle of March, I'm kind of back at work a little bit from leave, and I come home every day, and, you know, it's having a newborn is tough. There comes a point when you're simply surviving. So she was born a week before my birthday, which Mm -hmm. is on February 15th. Yep. Uh, All I wanted for my birthday was to sleep. Sure. (laughs) So she came home on the 10th or the 11th. Mm -hmm. Four or five days later, my in-laws come over just to hang out for a little bit in the afternoon and they're like matt go take a nap i'm like okay (laughs) thank you (laughs) thank you (laughs) that's all i want so but you kind of move past the survival mode in Mm -hmm. a lot of ways um into once uh, you know they become more mobile and kind of interact with the world it's um you're past survival and to really just kind of thriving in in a Mm -hmm. lot of ways yeah so sometimes don't sleep a lot but um, it has been incredible, and I, each day she come becomes more and more aware of the world, mm-hmm. more interaction with the world, which is a whole lot of fun. Yeah, um, it's pretty special. Yeah, it really is. That's awesome. Yeah. So Isla is, yeah. We're recording this on January 10th for those who are watching online, 2023, because I know last couple or yeah. two years ago. So uh, Matt, tell us about where you grew up, where you went to school, yeah. all that stuff too. So I grew up in Independence, Missouri. Um, I went to Truman High School. Um, I've been in the gathering since I was two, so mm-hmm. uh, gosh, that'd be 25 years now yep. um, since I'm 27 at this date. Um, I went to Missouri State for two years for business school. I finished at UMKC with a um, business management degree. Yep. And then while I was working here, um, I got my master's in theological studies, finished that from Southwestern down in Fort Worth. Love it. Um, Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary. SWBTS. SW, you know that because you're going there. Yeah, there yeah, that's true. Well, that's good. Yeah. And now your family pastor Correct. here. It's true. I'm sure. You give us a short story of what little Matt at formerly Nolan Road Baptist Church, now the gathering. What was little Matt like? At church, just at church. Like I don't want to know about every other escapade at school and stuff. Mm. What at church? Good kid, bad kid. I would, I would argue I was a good kid. Okay. Um, I was goofy. I think that's for <laughs> sure. sure. That's changed. Still am goofy. Yeah. Right. Yep. Um, I I think that I'm a pretty easygoing guy. Mm-hmm. I was an easygoing kid. Uh, I did dumb things as every kid yeah. does. Yeah. Um, I just. I just had fun, I think, looking back on it. We just had fun. Uh, we did some dumb stuff. We had a lot of fun. A lot of my good friends growing up are from church that I that I have now. Yeah. Um, I have a few friends left from high school, but really it's my church friends are the mm-hmm. ones that stuck with me. I mean, we had fun. Yeah. Um, we did some silly, silly things. I got in trouble a few times, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, of course. But it was just, it, I, I talk about it a lot. Um, it's a special privilege to be able to pastor at the church you grew up in mm-hmm. because I've known a lot of these people my whole entire life. Yeah. Um, a lot of them were my Sunday school teachers or <laughs> whatever. You know, they watched, have watched me grow up. 
Um, so that's kind of it can be a little bit awkward sometimes. Sure. Probably daunting, yeah. Um, for sure, starting yeah. out five years ago, starting yeah. out it's a little bit you know you're nervous about it, but um, to be able to give back really to them, mm-hmm. um, and and some t- some I'm sure someday I will have their kids and gr- or grandkids, yep. right? Um, it's really pretty special, and it's a, truly a blessing that I did not think I would be able to have, mm-hmm. um, and a lot of guys don't have. Yeah, but it, it's special. I love it. What? Where, when did you feel the call? Because, cause, you know, you did business and stuff like that, yeah. but then now you're in the ministry. So when did you feel yeah. the call, kind of that tug at your heart? So that was probably my junior year of high uh, college, mm-hmm. actually. Um, I did not intend on going into the ministry at all. Um, I intended on going to business school, get my ma- uh, bachelor's degree, yeah. and then be a firefighter. Because okay. I did not want to go to college to begin with, but my parents kind of said, hey, you really need to, you need to go. Yeah. So. Thank you, mom and dad. They made me go, <laughs> right? Um, so I intended to go to school, get my bachelor's degree, and then go into the fire academy and stuff like that. Yep. Um, but then the Lord got a hold of me through various ways my junior year of college when I was at UMKC. And then I kind of had the opportunity to intern for Matthias mm-hmm. back yep. then. Um, and then I kind of kept on and kept going. And then, you know, the merger happened and they needed youth pastor yep so i took that position over they kept me on yeah kind of throughout that process so yeah. um it was a long winding road sure. uh in a lot of ways i wish that i would have uh, heeded the lord's call sooner Take however exactly you know listen pay yeah. attention yeah but in a lot of ways that i'm grateful for that i do have a business degree you know it helps mm-hmm. me out yeah um and that i i did go because i have a lot of really really good memories a lot of stories from missouri state sure um, it was a good time umkc same thing um just different but yeah that's kind of the long winding road that i took love it okay so you're on staff with your youth pastor yep. did you also have wes as a youth Correct. pastor? So, so you're on staff with two of your youth yes. pastors Correct. and you are full-time pastoral with them mm-hmm. like tell yeah. tell because that uh, i'm sure coming on staff was like okay this is weird yeah because you learn from them right yeah so Wes was my youth pastor up until my like sophomore to junior year of high school mm-hmm. and matthias came in i think it was like my junior or senior year of high school and kind of in that time frame yeah so in a lot of ways it's pretty um it's encouraging to me because i know those two guys have my back right mm-hmm. they're yeah. sound great sounding boards that are for me and all this stuff at the same time, they give me a proper amount of grief, sure, right? Yep. As, As anybody would. Yeah. Um, it's been kind of cool to know, and, and I see their influences in my life and mm-hmm. the way I do uh, certain things too, yep. of the things I carry over from Wes and Matthias, yeah, um, both and kind of thing. Cool. Um, I don't know what I mean. Your favorite part about being family slash youth pastor at this point? I think especially the family part is that. I'm more involved with the kids, mm-hmm. even when they're little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you um, get that before youth group. Correct. Yeah. Now, I was to an extent when I was just youth pastor, but I was kind of tied in a lot of ways to the youth. Yep. But now that I have the responsibility of overseeing kids, and we have incredible, I cannot speak highly enough of Melinda and Marcia, mm-hmm. which I think you're interviewing. Yeah, we will interview you. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're absolutely incredible. They make my life easy. Mm-hmm. As far as overseeing children's stuff, they're incredible. Um, but since I'm so much more ha- hands-on and yeah. more involved with them, to get to know the kids a little bit before they even come into youth ministry, because I'm still I still do the youth pastor thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it helps a lot, especially since as these younger ones are starting to come in that have known me for yeah. a while, and I've been around them. I do children's church. Mm-hmm. I yeah. do uh, gathering Wednesday children's stuff. I'm doing that this coming month, yeah. next week, right? Um, so I do get more like face to face with them and they know me before yeah before they you get, get in which i think helps um curb the silo effect yeah that a lot of times exists can exist in churches of you have the kids and they're separate from the youth and they're separate from the college and they're separate from the adults i don't want yeah. that i want that's why i like family family ministry so much because yeah. it is one continuous thing our goal is to help parents to disciple their kids from when they're little to when they're out of the house and the whole yeah. goal is that these kids when they turn 18 they stay in church or whether it's college or whatever hopefully right. at this church if not somewhere else um, but it gives me the ability to really walk alongside parents from when their kids are born right, right. we just had you know 
uh, an eighth blazer born, seventh blazer born. <laughs> Can't keep track. <laughs> one of one of the two. <laughs> what I think it's seven. Theodore, right? I I hopefully have the privilege over the next eighteen years to watch him grow up. Yeah, that's my goal. Yeah. So you never want to leave. If if God if God calls you to leave, obviously you have to leave. But I don't want to. Yeah. Um. I hope and pray. You know. I don't know. I had a lot of plans for my life starting out. Sure. Um. That didn't turn out, thankfully. Um. I hope and pray the Lord has me here for the long haul for the next twenty years. That's what I want. Um, if not, that's fine. But y- that's my goal. You know, I can clearly say before I ask you your last question, I can clearly say you have gotten a lot better on video. I was horrible a ton better on video, and then also, you know, like one day, probably like I don't know, forty years from now, as you retire mm. as lead pastor here at some <laughs> point. I'm joking, but in in reality, like yeah. I could see this clip, your clip right there that that you just gave as like a retirement thing. Yeah. Like, I mean, legitimately, you you have everything around you, right? Your family's here, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So, my mom and dad. I mean, my mom and dad still go here. My sister still awesome goes people. here. My brother lives up north, but you know awesome they're still people. over in the church. Yeah. So I mean, your favorite. This is the last question. Your favorite part about the gathering. Favorite part about the gathering. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's a good question, because there are so many favorite parts. Right. No, I mean, this um, is why I really want you to, like, sizzle it down, find that, that spot. When I was down in Springfield, um, Kaylee, my girlfriend at the time, now wife, we had trouble finding churches. Yeah. Um, and we kind of bounced around a little bit till we found one that was very similar to the gathering. Mm-hmm. No one wrote at the time, yep. gathering now. Um, and what we liked about it was that it kind of had the same family feel. Mm-hmm. Um, something, but it took us some time to find it. Yeah. Um, what I think is special, and my favorite thing about the Gathering Baptist Church, is that both campuses. Yeah. We're family. Mm-hmm. We really are. Yeah. Um, and even though we're one can argue, right? Statistics say we're a mega church compared to a sure. lot of Southern Baptist churches nowadays, yeah. which is uh, crazy. Um, but we're fa- everybody knows everybody, mm-hmm. right? For yeah. the most part. Um, people care about each other. They legitimately do. Families are raised here. Mm-hmm. I was raised here. Um, a lot of the most influential people in my life still go here. Yeah. I still count on them. Um, so my favorite thing is the fact that we truly are a family. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's the whole goal, I think. Y- you see in Scripture how um, the church is the body. Uh, the metaphor is used as the body. The metaphor is used as brothers and sisters in Christ, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so that's a special thing about the gathering is that we we just love each other. We care for each other. Yeah. And um, we fight for each other, even when it's not a whole lot of fun sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, that's probably my favorite thing. Yeah. You know what? I, did, I We went this entire interview, and now I'm going to bring it up. You're a Chiefs fan. I'm a Chiefs fan. Go Chiefs. I mean, this will date the video. Uh-huh. Playoffs are going to start. Yup. <laughs> You hoping for another Super Bowl? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, this will I be sip, our best opportunity. As I sip from my Cowboys water bottle, I did tell David yesterday. David interviewed um, Chiefs over Cowboys in the Super Bowl, and everybody twenty twenty three, and everybody laughed. LOL. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it'll be Taking interesting. Chiefs over Vikings. Yeah, the Vikings yeah. are not. I will not. I will be shocked if they make it. Yeah. But you know, sleeper. Hey, it's sleeper. Dark horse. It's. Justin, it's very much a dark horse. Justin Jefferson is pretty good at football. Very good. Arguably the best. Um, so Matt Brown, family pastor, the Gathering Baptist Church, uh, offices out of both Nolan and the Plaza campuses. And so open door policy, that's what I love about the staff, is yep. that anytime, I'm sure cell phone number is given yep. out, not on this video, but mm-hmm. once you get to know Matt, yep. <laughs> cell phone number is exchanged too. Um, appreciate you. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. It's good stuff. All right. Love it. See you next time. See ya.